Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Today I want to show you how I um, recycle my bottles and delabel them uh, pretty easily. So you're going to need a couple things for this. You need some water. Generally you need a big bucket so that you can soak your bottles in. Um, and then uh, you're going to need two other things. I always use PBW, which is a, uh, a cleanser. And it is pretty cheap. I mean, this was 12 bucks. This thing will last me probably you know, three or four months or more. Uh, so pretty cheap. You need that for actually soaking your bottles in. You mix water in that. And then I also use star sand as a after I delabel kind of step. So the first thing I always do is, and I've already done it for the sake of this video because it takes some time. I have taken, and in this bucket you see right here, uh, I have all my bottles I took and put I don't know how much water, enough water to fill all these bottles with, and then threw in. Um, my standard's probably about three uh, tablespoons of this into the water, and you let it set for, you know, 24 hours plus. The, the best, you know, easiest time is about 48 hours because it really lets the bottles um, soak in it. It's a cleanser, but it also takes, and as you'll see here in a second, it helps the labels peel off to the point where some of them will actually just fall right off after they've sat in it for a while. Um, if they don't fall off, I uh, also use steel wool. So I'll be doing that today. I bought some, and I lost it already. I have some right here. I use steel wool and I just scrape them off. So uh, after I've scraped them off, scraped off the labels, I go ahead and dunk it into my star stain water. So I'll show you here. Um, I just put, you know, a little bit of star sand into here. And this is water, of course, and I'll mix it up. After, uh, after each one is cleaned, dump it in. That helps further sanitize, which is nice. So here's the, the delabeling process. This is the one I always use. It's always been very, very successful for me. So you can see here, got uh, my bottles. And let's take this one, for example. This one has a label on it. So some of them also need, forgot my trash can. It helps if you have a trash can to chunk everything in, chunk all your, your um, uh, paper into. So I'm going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. I can normally scrape them off like this. Some of my labels like to come off really easily. Others get a little sticky. So you kind of have to kind of pry like this. And I'm doing this after 24 hours, so they're not as um, easy to get off as I'd like. Once you start to scrape it all off, let's say that it doesn't come all the way off like this. This is a kind of a poor example because uh, most of my other ones will come off easily. I will take and use my steel wool. So my steel wool is just with water, of course. I'd sit there and, and go across the glass. This doesn't scratch any of the bottle. So it's really nice, and it should, as it is right now, just go ahead and take the label off. So it takes a little bit of time. Um, if I had soaked these for a little while longer, I wouldn't have as big of an issue with this. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and do this video since I was about to do this anyways. So I've gone ahead and steel wool, just let it sit, and it's all cleaned. I've got all of the label off, just like that. After I have cleaned, or after I've done that, I go ahead and uh, just dunk it into my star sand water. And I need to mix this up a little bit. This is just gonna further cleanse it. The PBW cleanses it and uh, sanitizes as it is too. And then I use, because my, my uh, dishwasher is right here, I just use the top rack as the, uh, the drying station. So then at that point, once I have one done, I just repeat the process. Even for bottles that I don't have labels on, like this one didn't have a label, I still dump it in my PBW just to help really clean it. And then I rinse it out, do one more rinsing in my star sand, and then I can let it sit. So let's do another one with a label. Like here we go, this is a perfect example. This one, the PBW just, I mean, really got all of the label off of it. You can see that it literally just slides off. So some of them are gonna be like that. It's a little bit of left label left on here. And then those are the best because they, uh, I mean, they're the easiest to deal with, which is really nice. So I've finished that, dunk it in my star sand, let that stir around a little bit, and we get to the next one. Uh, I really like 
This process, it's worked well for me. I recycle most all my bottles that I can because I figure and find that it's easiest to save bottles as you're going along. Um, you know, if you can get your bottles back from people when you give them away, that's great. If you can't, then you know, you're, you're stuck with buying new bottles. Or let's say you just drink normal beer, um, you know, I, I save those too. And like here's a Sierra Pale Ale. I, I like Sierra Pale Ale quite a bit. Um, and this one of course had its label on it and it will come off, normally these come off pretty easy too. And sometimes they peel real nicely. But the, the thing is the PBW is really necessary and you can use other things too. People use baking soda. Um, that's a cheaper way to do it. Uh, there's baking soda. There's I'm trying to think of some other things. I'm sure uh, there are other agents for this, but uh, saving your bottles helps save money. Every, at least in my, my liquor store, or my, excuse me, my uh, brew shop around me, bottles are like, I don't know, 20 bucks for, or maybe about 16 bucks for 24. So you're saving money over time. Uh, the PBW is cheap. So I just do that, like I've just peeled this one off and then I'll do the exact same thing. Steel wool is also cheap. I get mine at Walmart and it's like, you can get a pack of three steel wool for, I don't know, I think two bucks. Uh, I generally have to throw away the steel wool after each like de-labeling session because sometimes the, uh, uh, it gets a little sticky and then the, it gets stuff on the bottles. But see how quick that was to clean? Now I have a new bottle. I just put up my star sand over there. So I'll do that here in a second with the rest of these bottles. But what I do want to say is, as um, best you can, we want to make our brewing as efficient as possible, especially if you're a home brewer, because you don't want to spend a million dollars on bottles all the time. So if you, uh, if you can have somebody you know save bottles for you, which is great, uh, do that. Some people will actually go around and make deals with like the local bars and say, hey, I'll come by every, you know, couple days and pick up your, your uh, spare bottles. That's great. Whatever you can do to save money. I do this to save money. Over time, you know, in the moment, I'm saving maybe 50 cents. Over time, um, once you've brewed, let's say 500 bottles worth of stuff, you're saving a couple hundred dollars. So it's just a little bit of time. The longest and the hardest part is actually um, waiting. But again, if you just occupy yourself in the meantime. So I hope this has helped. Um, I will continue to do this. Use those, all those things down below and um, I'll make sure to include everything you need down below. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've always wanted to try and inform you guys about how I do it. Let me know what you think down below. If you have a different method, I'm sure there are other ways to do it but uh, this is just how I do it. So uh, check out the links also down below. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. And um, I hope I have helped you figure out how to delabel some or hopefully helped you save some money. So thanks for watching and have a good one.